why the eFan adventure? I'm sure you've, uh, you're familiar with that eFan. Uh, it's been all over the press uh, recently. It's just a lab. It's nothing but a lab. It's to understand what electric propulsion is all about. And we are driven to electric propulsion for some good reasons that I'm going to try to explain in that pitch. So what is driving everything? What is driving everything is a commitment that was taken in front of the uh, uh, regulatory um, commission in Europe. And that, that vision for aviation, it's called Flight Path 2050, is reducing dramatically the emissions that were allowed to put in the, in the atmosphere with the, uh, with the airplanes and the related systems that we use for operating our airplanes. So as you can see, 75% reduction. I've never said it's achievable immediately. Yeah? Don't, don't quote me on that. And especially when you're taking into account 5% traffic growth a year. Um, what are we doing there? So the objectives in the CO2 are 75% reduction, noise 65%, NOx 90%. Um, so we have different steps in mind, but at the end of the day, what we think feasible is for uh, what's called the efficient aircraft. So taking into account all the, uh, all the improvements that you can do on the aircraft itself for reducing the drag, we'll probably get 20 to 25 percent improvement. By improving the engines, 15 to 20 percent. By improving the air traffic management, you know, when you go from point A to point B, uh, overflying point C, which is completely not in line with point B, A, and B, this can be improved, obviously, and this will remove, this will add efficiency in the whole transportation systems. And on top of that, by introducing the alternative fuels, we can probably gain something like 15 percent at a reasonable cost. <clears throat> of course, um, very high stakes everywhere there. So the prerequisites we are working on right now is high efficiency generators, high voltage distribution networks, because you know that if you go at altitude, uh, you, cannot, uh, at, uh, uh, you cannot be safe over 300 volts. If you want to increase the, uh, the voltage above 300 volts, you need to take specific precautions, otherwise you have arcing and, uh, and destruction of your network uh, quite early. Uh, high efficiency motors and power electronics, it's like everybody else, so we take care of uh, what is done for us by other industries. And IFAN is only the first rung of the ladder. So today we'll talk about IFAN in a few minutes, but it's just a lab that will go commercial for general aviation, but it's far away from, from Airbus business. Airbus business is big carriers like you know, uh, and this is the first rung of the ladder that we will climb one after the other to go all the way to maybe something that would look like that 20 years from now. So a big hybrid machine with a huge efficiency. Uh, today we are 27, 28% efficiency. This thing is 60, 65% efficiency, which is huge. We started with a very small aircraft called the Cricri, which is just under the under the main reactor there of a, of a 380. So that was a, an aerobatic plane that we converted into electricity instead of, a, you know, we had two lawnmower, uh, two lawnmower motors that were replaced by two brushless motors. And it was for us a good way to understand how to lay out the, some circuitry there and to understand how the batteries will work in, in such an environment. <clears throat> Making a battery power aircraft makes no sense. As you can say, as you, can, as you know, um, 400 pounds of battery today, of, I mean, good, good quality battery, makes for uh, something like three or four gallons of, uh, of gasoline in terms of energy content. So it's not going to fly anywhere uh, across the Atlantic. Uh, it was only a demonstration. It was only for us to understand what proportion means and what the systems we should put in there to make it work. It's 35. Uh, for one hour flight, zero emission, whisper quiet, no noise at all. So it really fits with the demonstration steps that we wanted to achieve. We have the next one, which will be commercial in 2017, at the end of 2017, which is the IFAN 2. So this is again an electric flight, but it was developed for a very simple purpose. It was developed for training, for training of the pilots. Most in, in Europe, and I know in the US it's a bit different, but in Europe, uh, air clubs are close to the cities, 
and people are complaining about the noise of the aircraft. So now we've developed that for training for, for, the, for the aircraft that has to overfly over and over for, the, for training the pilots. And this has been, uh, this has been uh, uh, designed uh, with the help of the flight schools uh, that, uh, that we are uh, using as customers. So we're not quite there yet, but the journey has started for sure. It's promising. We have plenty of, of good things ahead of us. Uh, VTOL is an opportunity these days. We must not forget the longer term for us, which is commercial and commercial aviation. Electricity is our future.